Is it like fogged up? Sorry if you guys are fogged up. Anyway, we... Yes, love that. Okay, we are in the car right now. We are outside of... It's hot, bro. Um, we are outside of a consignment shop, actually, because we had the nifty, fun, cute idea to go, like, thrifting, consignmenting, second-handing, you know? Um, and see what we can find. Because I feel like whenever you ask people where did you get that and you come across, like, a piece that you're just like, oh, my gosh, where did you find that piece of clothing they're like oh i thrifted it oh i got it at a consignment shop oh what do you have whatever 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 it's never from a store that you can just go buy it at seattle has great consignment shops let's go around the city and find what, we can, what find. we can find and there are a few that i've already been to and there are a few that we're like discovering and i'm actually really excited because i feel like i don't know i'm not like wowed i don't know if you've noticed this about me lately but i'm not wowed by anything i find in the store like nothing is like wowing me to the point where i'm like willing You're to purchase proud. it I really am. And even though like I'm like not like wearing a lot of my clothes right now, it's because nothing is like wowing me and I need to be wowed. And I feel like one thing about LA is like we, my mom would take me to shop at the real real. And back then I had a lot of pieces that were like would just wow me. You know, they would just like I was like, wow, this is such a cute outfit. This is such a cute thing because there were these like nooks and crannies in LA where you can find secondhand pieces that like nobody else in the city is ever going to have. And I just want that to be my wardrobe and I'm willing to spend a little bit more to achieve my dream. So let's get you some quality pieces because I like to see you dress up. Let's get in here and, and see if we can we can get some timeless pieces. And also he's like kind of adding to his style right now. So I feel like this is the perfect place to go because I feel like we've exhausted the basicness. Like we can no longer shop at basic places because we've exhausted. We already have all the basic clothes. We already have those. Like we have all of them. So now we need pieces to attach the basic clothes to. Big facts. Big facts. Let's get it. Oh, look, they have... Um, what's it called? Yeezys. Huge Gosh. size though, yeah, ginormous. <laughs> Looking for things other than that. This is a cute bag. Very interesting. Ooh, look at those, you guys. I know you know those. This is so, um, 2000. Oh, so 2000. Right. You find anything you like? Um, no. They have some, like, some jewelry that looks pretty cool. Like, some vintage jewelry. But other than that, they don't really have any, like... Not a lot of manly stuff. Not, like, they have, like, thrifty stuff. But they mm -hmm. don't have really, like, consignment high-end, like, you know what I mean? They do, it's just not no, our style. No, no, of no. In, in men's, I'm saying. Oh, okay. I, I yeah, see yeah. the women's part, but the men's part is like not really men's. Like I guess it's the right time. Jimmy Choo bag. Not bad. bad at all. That's actually pretty good. Cute. All right. Just got out of there. There wasn't, it's not, okay, it wasn't bad. There was like cool things in there, just not for necessarily our style and our vibe at the moment and not my size. They did have Van Cleef. I got super excited for a second because they had the Van Cleef bracelet. But when I asked her, she said they were inspired by, not actual ones. And I was like, oh, that's so devastating because I would have popped that immediately. There's Nothing. Some, there's some, I think if we go at the right time, we'll, we'll you know what I mean? With the jackpot for sure. This car is so beautiful. Stun. Beautiful. Whoever has that, 10 out of 10. All right, we made it to Madrona. All right, you guys, listen. We're driving around the city. We're finding nothing, okay? And we're just struggling, okay? Okay, never mind that. Um, <laughs> we are in Madrona. I'm going to a shop called Katie Bird, where I've been before, and they actually have really cute stuff, so we'll see. <laughs> Nothing. Never worn. Still got the plastic on it. She's like, see ya later. Crazy. Let me see it. Where's the mirror? 
Bag, beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. Husband did something bad. Not my husband. Somebody else's. She consigned it. Brand new. Tags. Everything. Beautiful. Three thousand dollars. Originally six thousand. Brand new tags though. Half off. What do we think? Is a real question. Purchase. Purchase, 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 purchase. purchase, 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 purchase. You yeah, guys, doesn't she look really good with this bag? Comment, comment in, um, in the comment section below. <laughs> comment Copper, in the comment section down below. This, Copper drops. She's right, this is stunning. I mean... She must get this purse. Cute, kind of, right? What is that? It's just a little keychain from Burberry. Is it? Oh my god. Hey guys, huh? Me and these is. I'm telling you, she needs it. Just love Katie Bird. It was actually a really nice store. Had really dope purses. Had a couple dope pieces. Um, they don't have any men's clothing, which is a bummer. A lot of these consignment shops are like women only type vibes. But she said she was thinking about doing men's clothing. Which if they did it, I think would be fire. But we're on our way to uh, a store that she, she suggested called Creature. So let's get to it. Lately, I've been stressing. I'm so sad, pull up this. Can't lie, lately, I've been stressing. Cops outside, pull up, it's hot like Texas. The vision be foggy, the news be confusing the message. Yeah. Passport stamp, gotta get another view with some leverage. Uh, hold up. Nowadays, everybody be hating. Uh, that's what it feel like, ain't it? Jay's trying on this super fun shirt. It has like what onions and radishes and things on it, but I feel like it's so out there, but paired with like a black slack or like, you know what I mean? Something classy. How fun is that? I'm sure some of you out there that are thinking that this is insane, but you have to just peep the vision <laughs> because it's actually very cool. And I'm into it. And if you're not into it, then mind your business. <laughs> I. I'm gonna get these car hearts. I'm gonna get them like low rise and like altered a little bit to fit my body a little better, but look at how stunning. They're really cute. I feel like the fit of them, the color of them is stunning. And then I'm also going to get these vintage Patagonia like shorts and have them altered too. They are a little bit like worn, but they're stunning. And then we tried on this vintage Levi jacket, which is cute, but the wash of it, I'm not obsessed with. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Update. Here's the deal at hand, queens and kings and viewers. Hold on. We kind of went a little bit ham in the store that we were in. And we both got some glasses, just in case you couldn't tell. I got some Celine glasses. Literally so stunning for literally like a fraction of the price and they're in such great condition. They're beautiful. I love them. I love the shape of them and I love that they're kind of clear because it gives you just enough little shade and adds to your outfit, but not crazy. On to you. I got cool like vintage t-shirt. It's like on its last leg, but it's so fire. It's so, you just need to take really good care of it, but I think it's like, it yeah. was worth every penny. We got these Montclair sunglasses. Um, I saw them like last minute and they were like, oh yeah, you should try them, you should try them and I put them on. And I think what it really was is that they went with my outfit really, really well. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, wifey was like, oh, they look so good. And then everybody's like, these look so good. So then I was like, okay, sure. It's because you guys don't understand. This man has a face for circular glasses. And I think if you're gifted with the face, for circle glasses, you need to take full advantage of that because a lot of us are not gifted with that face. Me personally, not gifted with the face for circle glasses, but he has the face for circle glasses. And it's like, you literally can't miss out on there on those. They're in such nice condition. Pretty much everything in there was in great condition, unless it was like meant to be distressed and destroyed type of situation. It was in like perfect condition, which brings me to my next point. Look at what I found. Look at what I found, just beautifully sitting there on the top shelf. I said, ma'am, can I see that bag? She's like, oh yeah, you guys. First of all, you can't purchase these anymore and a fraction of the price and in like perfect condition. Like maybe there's like a couple light, like faint little scratchings, but like nothing you can really notice. I mean, look at the color. So me, I love blue. Beautiful. Fire. Super fire. The integrity, like it looks brand new off the shelf. It's a brand new bag brand new bag and you can't purchase them anymore they're all sold out and on waitlist and backlist or whatever so i mean what the heck 
I was not expecting to buy that or spend that, but sometimes you must do what you have to do in order to to live, you know? In order to do what you gotta do. And in order to do what you must do. Like, you must just do the things that you have to do. Right. We got some other cute clothing items. He was telling you he got, like, a Carhartt button up which is really really cool a really cool shirt we told you earlier which is like it's a silly shirt but like it's so cool at the same time i feel like if you were wearing it right now with those glasses like it would just look so good it's such a like i need those loafers now let's go to the other places there's a japanese denim store that they told us about and the people in there i love if you're ever looking what's it called it's called creature in like cap uh what is this area this is definitely cap hill east east capitol hill like over to the almost not capitol hill side by the Safeway, you know what I mean? For sure. For sure. For sure. I was saying earlier that I don't have an issue spending money on things that like wow me, right? Like I will spend the money on something that I'm like wowed by or shook by or it's a great deal. Like I don't mind spending the money. I just don't find myself like shopping at like, for example, Aritzia. I have a lot of Aritzia like sweatsuits and stuff like that, but they're more expensive clothes don't really do anything for me you know so i'm not gonna sit there and spend like 500 dollars at the store when it's not giving what it's supposed to give it's giving basic it's giving everybody has that you know so i will buy a piece if it's a one-off and it's gorgeous and it's beautiful that i won't hesitate you finding them oh there mm -hmm. not, not them it looks like them and some french fries and i'm super excited to eat it because i'm so hungry i haven't really eaten anything all day other than um, a chocolate croissant from starbucks so i'm hungry and the banh mi's here are so fire like i feel like you wouldn't expect a vegan place to be to hit that hard on a banh mi but it's stunning how are you finishing dang usually i'm the one who slurps down like cold drinks oh. Slurp down, pause. I don't have to say pause. Slurp is a normal word that people use. Okay, you gotta watch what you said. I'm just slurping down my <laughs> pause. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, anyway. Um, usually, I drink them faster. But today, he did. We're gonna go find him some Mexican food. Maybe you want to eat cactus, you said? Something like that. I just need something like hefty. Substantial? Yes, yeah, like satiate you. Something that has a lot of different elements and flavors. <laughs> Jay, the food connoisseur. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, essentially. essentially. Anyway, back in the car we go. Tamales, shrimp, corn, and then we absolutely bodied these nachos. Sorry, they look disgusting, but we killed those already. Jay's having a strawberry lemonade. I had a bunch of chips and salsa, and <laughs> that's pretty much all I ate. And then I had um, an iced tea, and I'm waiting for my refill. And are you gonna order another drink? Mm -hmm. Yeah? 
Cheers. Open high places, and ain't no friends who no kin who know you on the first name basis. And you got on the latest. So don't that make you the greatest? Now you just another basic. Mama dropped to school. I wanna come up to school.